Hi friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to see how to use merge transformation for combining data from two tabs of an Excel sheet. So you can see that I have got an Excel sheet which has got two tabs, one for US data and another for India data. So let us start by adding a data flow task. Let us add an Excel source to our package. Let us configure this Excel source to read the data from that Excel sheet that we have. So let us point this Excel source to our Excel sheet and then select the India data tab. Now copy paste this Excel source. Now for the new Excel source, select the US data tab. Now let us rename these two Excel sources. The first one I will rename to India data. And the second Excel source I will rename to US data. Now, as we want to combine the data, let us add the merge transformation. But this merge transformation requires sorted data from the first as well as the second Excel sources. So for that, let us add two sort transformations. Let us connect both these sort transformations. And let us configure these sort transformations by specifying that we want to sort based on the customer key in ascending order. Now let us connect these sort transformations to our merge transformation because the, now we have got the sorted data from both these sort transformations so we can use data in our merge transformation. Now let us have one Excel destination because we want to combine the data and we want to save this data into the third tab of our Excel sheet. So let us name it as merge with sort as we are using sort transformation in this package. Let us add a new tab. The name will be merge with sort. Okay. As column mappings are correct. So we can save our project and we can execute our package. So as you can see, 25 rows have been read from each of the Excel sources and 50 rows have been saved in our Excel sheet in the new tab. So let us verify our Excel sheet. So it has got the third tab merge with sort and it has got 50 rows and the rows are sorted based on the first column that is customer key. Now we should always try to avoid sort transformation as far as possible in our packages because sort transformations are resource intensive. So how can we avoid them in this example? Let us see. So let us create another package. Let us name it as merge without sort as we will not be using sort transformation in this particular package. Now let us delete the sort transformations. And let us go to the Excel source, its advanced properties, and then 
let us go to the last tab and let us specify that we want sorted output from this particular excel source and for the output column customer key let us specify sort order as sort position as 1 so the output from the first has been configured let us configure the second excel source in the similar way so from the second excel source also sorted output will be there and uh, let us combine these two excel source outputs into our merge transformation let us save the project now as the data is sorted our merge transformation can work on this data let us save the output into a new tab let us call this tab as merge without sort now let us close the excel sheet let us retry ok so now it will not give any error let us select the new tab merge without sort let us save our project and let us execute our package so as you can see 25 rows have been output from both the excel sources and 50 rows have been saved in our excel sheet in the new tab so let us verify our data so as you can see the fourth tab has been added merge without sort and it is having 50 rows and the 50 rows are sorted based on the first column that is customer key.